Look at that then. That is absolutely fantastic, praise God. Especially that large, gigantic rock face coming from the ground to the, not quite all the way up though. And there's far too many people about at the moment. And it's just that when there's a lot of people about, you can't have a discreet wee anywhere. So because school holidays, they're all out. So many out at the moment as well. So uh, anyway, hopefully I will find somewhere for a tea because it can be a nuisance otherwise. Uh, trying to hold your wee in with my uh, cup of tea. 29, it's nearly past 1 p.m. I'm starting again after a tea. So I finished about quarter past 1, so it's about quarter to 1. See some very, very serious cliff erosion here. See the way that it's leaning forward. I mean, it's so tempting to walk up close and have a look. You wouldn't want this to fall down. Look at this bit here. You see what's happening? It's in the middle of the collapse. Eventually, that's just going to go. That's going to go drop, drop into the sea. Very kind young lady ran after me. Um, have you lost your phone? Yes. Is it red? Yes, it was. Uh, have fallen out of my bag and so it's her and her mother as you come back I've just put the bike over at the post here and they come up there it is very muddy she's very brave running on the mud well that is definitely definitely an escape collapse those bits there they look as solid as anything but they are in state of collapse show you the moon there, half a moon. I tried to do some pictures of the um, stars the other day but this lens doesn't seem to be have a low light enough to get the stars out there or, or the uh, planets, one of the planets in the east, not like the DSR 250 that I had before. I have to ask questions about this. Maybe there is a special lens for it. This is it from this side basically. I mean, looking from it there, I suppose, the ground uh, still looks pretty sturdy, and it probably is, but I'm not going to go up there to test it out, <laughs> to see where, how sturdy it is. Of course not. Ah, uh, well, um, yeah, uh, and I won't see what come into my mind next, because, uh, not a very nice thing anyway, but um, ah, let's carry on along the Butte Peninsula. Ah, very, very close to Butte. Less than a mile, I suppose, really. Ah, must have been close enough for me to have comfortably got my bike up here today. Anyway, let's go and get the bike back. Ah, yes, another view here. Now, I'm not going to go down that part in case that is in a dangerous state of collapse. Uh, there's a gate here that I've just put my bike through. And I'm going to have a quickly come back. Let's take the camera back a minute. And I think, oh, I hope I haven't lost the camera. The phone this occasion, otherwise I'm in trouble. It's a point now. You can see that is viewed there. And it is inland, you see. And this part here is the back of those properties. And it's farmland. And um, some of it, like what was behind is common land. Uh, and, um, yeah. And there's a harbour that goes to the sea, basically. But it's on that next part there, you see. I'm just going to go to the edge there and then carry on. No further than this, that's a very beautiful bit here. 
just there's a problem with my crickle crackle sound here with the microphone I think I'm fixing it and then it goes again right um, show you this bit in a minute right okay there's a load of birds on that one yeah I think those passers by let me just get that focused in a bit better that's not so bad actually there's another form of folk uh, zoom I've got here that I haven't used for a long while I might just play about with it in a minute so let's carry on and get this done as quick as I can I've looked at that sound just me imitating it but that's the sound of it now, and it's a pity that this water is uh, fighting the bird off that I was just going to record. That is a pity. Some camouflage would be in my green, but they are probably not in the zoo. But never mind. Or the oven. Let's carry on then along the Bew Peninsula. Uh, hello, 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 it's Rani. Just testing. Yeah. Wow. It's so beautiful. And these meteorological people on the television tell you that it's going to be raining by about Wednesday or Thursday. Oh, boy. Take your so called mild weather to the North Pole or somewhere like that. But not taking it. We do not want it here. We want blue skies and sunshine, man what we want. Whoa, another cove here. I think I might just get my oh, my um my feedback. Just get my map out in a minute and see if I can find out if this cove has actually got a name. Some of them do seem to even have names. And this is the large orange Orton survey map. I am using which uh, will give more detail than the smaller one and the A to Z one of the story the Greek map of Cornwall which normally gives some detail but not as much as this Claps anyway I tried to look up the name of the place on the Orton survey and there was no listed co but something saying Effort, E F F O R T I believe it was and there was a place called Compass Point but I do not think it's this one here I think Compass Point is the one not this point in front of me but the one just overlooking Bude. Right, I'm around another another angle here. I was just going to say something a minute ago about something, but I can't remember what it was. Um, yep, yep, yep. Beauty. Right. Yeah, I know what I was going to say. But it's a sort of like river inlet, river outlet, going um, from Butte Town to the sea, and you can sort of drive up there, blah, blah, blah. So it's uh, technically part of the town. And that's a part where Compass Point might be. And there's a little bird dropped down there. Oh, boy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Whoa, ho. Fantastic. I wish we could have weather like this every day of the year. It'd be fantastic. Not this so-called mild weather that is not mild weather at all, but rain and horrible stuff. This is fantastic. I was going to go out tomorrow originally, but then they changed their mind and said it'd be pretty awful tomorrow. But anyway, let me. I'm going to go back and get the bike and carry on to the other side there through this through this little gate here. 
things with a clock, but it's eight minutes to three on the phone clock. So, uh, it's eight minutes to three. Soon it, it will be to three, I hope. After I have um, just got a little bit further. Right, okay. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic. We're in problems with that clock though at the moment, it's causing a real problem. Wow. Because of the compass on here, uh, I suppose I'm not really in a picture of that unless I climb up and I have nothing to climb up on. It's just an ordnance survey thing here. Um, yeah, it doesn't really give you any actual details there either. And that looks like a dog kennel there as well. From the back anyway. Right, okay. Whoa. Oh, be, ee, look at that bird. It came right onto the ledge. And then when it saw me, it hopped off. But uh, I mustn't panic, because otherwise I'll go over the edge. Now, there it is. Another bird there. On the ledge there. If I just wait here, it might come back. Right, the, um, oh, there it is. Here there it goes. This is start to. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think there's more than one. Yes, definitely more than one. This makes a bonus for today. Let me try and do the focus a bit better. That is fantastic. Definitely. Is, um, I'm going to move to another angle now to show you where I've got to go and I'll be virtually in view in a minute. There is part that goes onto the seafront which I actually forgot. There is a little road that goes off around the side. There is. Um, hmm. Does that lead anywhere actually that little road because there is um, um, was it when I was looking at the audience survey map, I was thinking there's no more coastal roads along here, which could cause a problem. Hey, there's a lucky group coming up road. They're coming. Uh, it's becoming a bit like a supermarket today. A lot of people have got the, the week off, maybe, till next week. That's the edge of view where you can see that little building there. Right, okay. And there's that um, satellite station up there, which officially doesn't exist, I suppose, because it's not on, on the map. I don't know how, why they think that by putting, not putting it on the map, it's um, preserving official secrets because I mean otherwise you wouldn't put police stations on the map you know or army, army barracks or whatever you know. I mean whatever goes on there I'm not even concerned about what it's nothing to do with me as far as I'm concerned I'm not interested at all basically
and I uh, just was thinking a while back I cannot see Lundy this day. I do not know why. Um, hmm. Oh, there it is. Well, you may, I may not be able to zoom in with the lens to see it, but it's in an exact straight line here. I will try by cutting and seeing what I can do. It's sort of in that direction here. I'm just looking down at the edge of viewed area. Now I what this I got this out for the time. 17 past three. But anyway, what I'm saying is uh, I was gonna just have tier three would normally do it, but because this is like having um, basically I want to do a wee and it's like wanting to do a wee in a supermarket if there was no lavatory there you couldn't just do it with all these uh, customers about and that's what it's like it's like a supermarket aisle at the moment with so many walkers out i don't normally see so many about normally you get a quick few minutes to do a wee and that's it but never mind so i'm thinking if i get to the bottom to the town then i might be able to do a wee Although I might be able to go to the right hand side a bit and do a quick wee in a minute, who knows. So, so then I can have my tea, tea to drink my tea. Now whether I'm going to get past this, because I'm not, this is not about um, recording towns. That's not what I'm doing. It's about um, recording the coast. Might carry on a little bit more. Get a better view. That's better. I'm trying to turn that zebra type of effect off if I can. It's not easy, but um, changed it now. The filter to see what happens. Anyway, let's carry on along the Butte Peninsula. I'm just. That's where I was a few minutes ago. Calm down here. Do 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 do. Right. Sort to cut the exposure. Right. right. Okay. There we go. That's cut down the exposure a bit on there. And I really want to get down a bit further before tea because this um, sunshine thing is a rare event on some occasions. So. Uh, I'd rather know that I've finished right down to the bottom and then all I've got to do is go upwards after that, you know. So what, I came down those few steps then, not steps, but downward bit, <sighs> forgetting to go a bit more careful. Little bird lands on the ledge there. Oh, I'm looking wrong place. That's it. Whoa. I see now. Whoa. There it is, man. Right, let's carry on. I'm going to have to try to head this thing into viewed itself because otherwise uh, well this where the coast path comes to land to to a road because the sun's gonna go get, getting lower and lower soon and then I can have my tea break. I think this exposure looks a bit better that way. And then go to Butte as soon as I can have my tea break a bit later. Yep Yep-o! Another view. Woohoo! Let's carry on.
as long as that key breaks. Yeah. I hope I wasn't already cold already. Looking back now, probably a better exposure. Nice apple crumble here, as I call it. When it's crumbling down to the where I'm trying to get to, of course. This is like apple crumble here. Uh, oh, I'm about six foot. My feet are from the end, so I don't want to go any further. Okay. Um, side side on fence facing says south. So, um, the, to my left must be west, to my right must be east, to, straight ahead of me would be north. I'm going to get this camera off the handlebars in a moment, get you a better shot. Well, I'm making progress, praise God. Hey, wow. I am getting there. Whoa. Um, let's check on the time again in a minute. On the time here. 10 to 4 p.m. Right, there is a bench around there. What I'm going to do is sit on it in a minute and have some cup of tea before at the 4 o'clock. But I think this is one of those places where they often built them uh, as a small type of chapel for worship. There's one at St Ives and there's one at Ilfracombe. And I forgot about this one here actually. I'll just go a little bit closer though. In fact, I was tempted to come in. I can't um, turn the camera upwards, but you can see. Um, Yes, uh, the one at, um, where is it, St Ives, I think, the one at Ilfracombe, they still have um, a church service in there, which is fantastic. This one, unfortunately, is not used anymore for that. But it's mainly, I suppose, church service for the um, fishermen that went out to sea. Right, let's carry on then. Reef message says, Linda forever. In your thoughts, love, Ken. Very sad. Okay, let's just do a little bit of going around here and then get to a quick 10 minute tea break and then get started again. Okay, lots and lots of rocks here. swimming pool there as well by the looks. Hmm. 
there are those that will swim in any climate of water, well, apart from the polar regions, of course, but they do like swimming in cold water, you know. So, so I suppose there are some around here. I'm not going to dismiss it and say there's not. So you can see that uh, the town of Butte comes onto the edge of um, the sea practically, just about practically, but the thing that's actually stopping it going any further this way is that there is sand here on the beach. Um, so you see there you are. And you can't see the cannot see this inlet from round the corner. You just see this part here, straight ahead. So therefore it gives you the impression that blah 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 um, yeah, but where is it? Where is it? It's a totally inland place, which it is a bit, but a bit at sea, you know. That part is probably the nearest part to the sea. I'm not sure if I get there with enough light this day. I have parked in Bude, a free parking place, so I hope uh, there's going to be no problem having my motor park there this day, no problems, even though there's no lines. Anyway, let's um, stop then. At four minutes to four, and have a quick tea break for, for, for about 10 minutes. Seven past four now, carrying on, and I hope there's no steps to come in front of me. Well, don't be in front if you, you're not careful, you see. Oh, the ice on here as well. Hmm, there's another one to the left. I don't know what to do, really. And nothing would respond, so I had to turn it off, turn it back on again. Uh, yeah, the mm, sea goes further than when the sea is in. Most of this is probably flooded. Alright, there is a river there. I think they call that river Limpstone. I saw something written up somewhere saying Limpstone, but it wasn't referring to the river, but it was a Limpstone. Now, um, da -da 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 -da. I decided I'd take this one because that one looked very icy on that side. I could also see something blue. It must have been this though. Uh, so I'm making a mistake. It's just I was looking for the old railway line because there was a railway line coming to Bude. But um, I have to look up my old um, book. It's called West Country, even though a bad name. I call it Southwest rather. Um, it's a very old one with some old railway lines on that used to be there. I haven't lost my, uh, what do you call it, my phone and clock on because I cannot, couldn't find it at that moment. Um, I was, looked at my watch and it was ten past four. So that might be low. Found it, 26 minutes past 4 p.m. So, right, okay, let's get, continue until I get to the main main road, and that will be it for today. Until I get to my motor, of course. But of course, we can do the final from there. Okay, right, now, um, that's just about the limit to where the beach is. The, the rear side there is right in virtually inland and it's this Bainbridge Canal or river. I always thought it was a river. But anyway, that's it here. So I'm just gonna get back to my vehicles as soon as I can. Is it the lavatory as well? This is just a lavatory as well. Oh. 
first the motor circuit to set temper. No parking here, so you can technically park here I didn't know. I'll, I'll only have a check in a minute. That's it now. The motor coming. I'm back here now, 12 minutes to 5. Back to park the motor, of course. Back here at 12 minutes to 5 to where I park the motor. So I am finished for the day now. I'm going to go home. Now, I think we're going to get Maplin the way back at uh, it, but apart from that, just go home, do everything down. Now, it should take another 10 minutes to about 5 pm, I'll be ready, I suppose. Right, um, round about, as my parents would say, 5 and 20 past 3 pm, and it is now um, Tuesday the uh, to the 6th of January, um, to few, to um, most would call it 2015, but I see it's a bit calendar, I would say 6th of January after December 2014. We're going to continue now with the uh, huge peninsula from Flexbury. Oh, it's not a show. From Flexbury. River and sea, you see, you see, 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 see. But when I was looking at the map, I was finding it difficult to find out where that border actually was. Uh, into the centre of Bude. But the area behind me, although technically some might call it Bude, it's called Flexbury, the area is. And I, oh, several things sort of held me up. They even said that uh, some would come out at midday, but uh, around the lizard way it was out first thing in the morning. So they may have been right, they may have been wrong, but I wasn't intending to get here at midday, but I didn't. But never mind, I'll make the best of I can of here along the Butte Peninsula then, going towards um, Morwenstow. And here is that uh, open air swimming pool that I could see from the other side and that is where the other coast was that I was at last week and that is sort of going inland towards the end. is a better picture now of uh, the outdoor swimming pool which I'm guessing or I was thinking be covered by the waves at high tide, high tide but the, the, I'm not an expert on that <sighs> and I left my phone in the in the um, vehicle which is a shame because I wanted to take some still pictures while I'm here uh, it's going to take a long while before I put this on the actual um, computer to take uh, to put copy video and um, take still pictures from there. You see. Well, I left about one o'clock anyway. Took me two hours to get here. Took me ages to get everything um, on the, the bike and what have you. But uh, let us, I just need to be happy.
do a few more shots further on, but I think these ones are actually lost for now, unfortunately. Looking back, actually, towards Tintagel, you see, oh, you can still see a bit further than that along there. Actually, I should re turn the exposure up now and I'll shine it directly to the sunshine. So I'll do this one again then. Just a little bit higher exposure. Maybe I'll come back on Thursday and they were saying it could, there could be a bit of sunshine on Thursday. I'm going to get there in the morning. I'm obviously not going to get much done because it's going to get dark soon. But, uh, yes, happy to do what I've got done, what I hope to get done. sort of, um, why is it so awful, way and it's bigger and bigger and there you have it, the water just comes in. I'm not parked too far away, so at least if there's something I forgot, I can go back for it very quickly. But uh, fortunately, I forgot the phone, which often doesn't work anyway in these areas but uh, I like to use it to take still pictures well there you are it's coming in closer so I suppose all this bit that I'm standing on is uh, situated on top of a rock and then the top part gets worn off and then you got the smooth stuff eventually which will eventually get worn into the sea strangely enough though Strangely enough though, even though you get this happen, what could ha also happen is that you get sand and maybe dirt or what have you washing from the sea and then grass seed gets on top and then it regrows. So, you know, uh, you get coastal erosion reversed then. Okay, right, 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 have I connected? One, two, one, two, yes I'm connected. Right, I'm connected now. I'll come down to the beach side now. Oh, 
For a look through the gap here in the fence and then there's a gate up there which might be an awkward opening gate and the journey starts towards Morwenstow which I will not achieve this day because there is not enough light to come but I will start anyway just looking back a bit it's a lovely day and I start to think well oh, what was it like this morning here because the TV weather forecast it will be raining in the morning and even the internet one did from the meteorological office website but on the other hand what can I say because where I was sun was shining all morning but, um, yep I'm not sure how much I'll get done but uh, yeah I think I will take the, the bike through that gate. It looks a bit wider than before. Let's just go down here, take some pictures, then come back and then talk about collecting the bike. But despite going back there, I still forgot to get the walking gate with me, which uh, is very important, especially when you've got slippery ground. Uh, especially if I leave the bike parked somewhere. So this part is Flexbury um, on this side. The other side through that entrance area is Bewed, you see. actually. Right, I'm going to put this down, take some still pictures quickly and then um, carry on a bit longer. Through. Sort of like through here, another angle. The sun is getting lower in the sky. It's uh, 20 past four if this is correct. So I carry on. Uh, another 10 or 15 minutes, whatever. Also, the sun getting lower. Okay, according to a web, when is that going to stop flashing? should be 29 minutes past 4 it's 29 minutes past 4 p.m. at the moment okay you're not going to 
see much more on that. But uh, yeah, I've really wasted a lot of today. I wasn't feeling too good. I last uh, two days except for last night, I haven't slept well during the night, and uh, and it finally got to in sleep, maybe sleep about 1am or something at first, and I uh, woke up at, uh, da -da -da, what time was it at first? 7, I was going to get up at 7, then I thought oh, I'll get up at 8, and then when 8 come along I went to sleep again, got up at, I was going to get up at 10, finished up getting up about 11, oh dear that's not very good. Uh, say red sky at night shepherds delight but I've known it to be pretty awful the next day some occasions if you believe the meteorological office they're saying it's going to be um, what uh, a rainy day tomorrow so I'm not sure exactly what is going to happen cliffs actually get higher and higher once you leave Beaud so that would definitely be for another day, that would. And it seems as if everything is so close, so you, like it was when I had done this recording in 2003, and I think I repeated it in 2004, but it seemed to take forever and ever. So I don't, I'm not absolutely 100% sure about what's going on. Um, it could take a lot longer. Back of my vehicle now, 16 minutes to 5 a.m. As I uh, just, uh, just try and find if that lavatory is open over there, um, I come back round, not this particular bit there, but there's a road behind that one, a hill round there, because uh, it was easy, easier than going through that awkward opening gate that the National Trust had, uh, but it was a bit longer though. But it's back, thank God for that. So let's get all this lot in, and that should be it for this day, I hope. A few peninsula, I'm on that road, it turns off the Red Roof Road actually. To there is that's a little fall to um, Stibian's Lake, but I um, just wanted to stop and show you the full moon. Amazing little fall at that moment. I mean I see it when I was driving but I couldn't really stop there. So I just thought oh something uh, nice to finish off the day. Time now 27, 27 minutes to well, you won't see the clock. 27 minutes to 8 pm. Wow that's fantastic. Nine minutes to ten on the clock there. I got in about twenty past nine, but it takes so long to set up. And uh, I also drank uh, some some tea from the earlier sandwich I had just after eight o'clock on the way here. Now uh, this is a Beard Peninsula. I'm continuing, but not from here. This is just a place where. I parked. What I'm going to do, so I'm going to get back to where I uh, left off before, and then I'm going to uh, either finish here, depending how long it takes, or carry on along the Beard Peninsula towards uh, where Devon is. But it's taken so long to get things started up, but uh, I'm very, very pleased things are are actually moving now so let's carry on uh, get the bike loaded up and then uh, move on move on move on where I finished off when I last came here um, in January um, right January the what um, do, 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 the first was on Tuesday yeah, when was the first 
Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, when was the first? I thought, I was working out in a, in a moment. Uh, right, 25th was on Thursday. So the first was on Thursday. So the first of January was on Thursday, right? Um, yeah, that was on Thursday. 25th, 1st of January, 2nd Friday, 4th Sunday, 5th Monday. So it must have been the 6th, 6th of January, right, uh, Tuesday. And I thought I'd get back, I've had a few problems. But anyway, I'll get you the time in a moment. Um, this, it is, um, oh, Tuesday the, Tuesday the 17th, yeah, wait a minute, is it the 17th, the 14th, 15th Sunday, yeah, 17th of, um, February, uh, and in man's way of saying the calendar, you would say 2015, but the biblical way, after two, December 2014, because the biblical New Year starts on the 20th of March. Okay, right, I'm um, going to show you a quick round here and then have tea and then carry on. I thought it would be a long way from where I parked there because it took so long to drive round. It was like some gigantic diversion going miles out the way and yet when you take it along here it's incredibly quick which is unusual because normally the coastal way is a longer way round it's mostly a muddy as well so you've got to be very careful there's been a lot of rain recently so the farmer's field would be getting deluged right uh, it's quarter to eleven now and um right i can't find the actual it's still, that must be in the, uh, left in the vehicle, looked everywhere, but I think, uh, it was rough, I'd say it was roughly about 20 past 10 that I, uh, done the last report, and stopped then to have my tea, right, uh, Yes, you do have to be very careful when it's very, very sort of, um, what's the word, sloshy. Because uh, you slide over very easy here. Let's carry on and do the Bude Peninsula then on this glorious sunny day. No, nowhere to stick the bike up and live leave it sort of leaning down against anywhere at the moment which is a problem right trying to show you as many shapes of the coast as i can as i go around that's the idea which you wouldn't see if you're charging past with a helicopter you pass it so quick you wouldn't even register in your head what you was looking at temptation is to get close to see the view but you do not know whether or not it's crumbly or not by the edge. I think I heard something like uh, a cliff um, caving around somewhere around Nuki in the far past few days, some, somewhere like that. Oh, all these shapes. Oh, self-standing rocks down there. Right, let's go and get the bike and the other things. Keep on the handlebars, it's a good job I was holding the camera at the same moment. Uh, anyway, this cat has got uh, that self standing bit there. Um, I could just get here a bit. You see, now, um, oh, where have they gone? I think they went. No, they're still there. So, uh, what's that now? Oh dear, I better check my lens. It's looking dark. Sorry. 
Okay, it's all right. It was between two um, exposures there. Right, uh, thought that was a bit strange. But anyway, uh, there's a self-standing truck structure. I couldn't have the bike where I wanted. But over here you've got a load of very small birds. And I thought to myself, if there's a tiny bit of noise, they will all take off. Uh, and then you'd see them. Ah, uh, oh, there they are. Hey. Uh, but you can't... Uh, it wouldn't be right to scare them just to get a picture. But uh, let's try just to get closer. Oh, oh, zoom in from here. Whoa. Actually, let's pause a minute. Zoom. There they are. Don't know what they are. Anyway, let's carry on along the Jude Peninsula. Continue. Actually, uh, we've done this part. We've done this part. I don't want to keep doing the same part again. Right, so they carry on now. I've tried in your water. Oh, right, okay. No, I was recording then. It's not military, it's breaking civil aviation regulations. That car helicopter there. I wanted to take a quick picture which take, took ages because pe people just kept walking past in hundreds and hundreds it seemed. Might be to do with the, uh, the school holiday even though these were adults, you know what I mean. Hmm. Um. Right, okay, another angle. Okay. Noise interference on this connection where the microphone plugs in, which really spoils it. A little bit more quieter now, thank God for that. Right, okay. <laughs> 